Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to Don's Locks. Today uh, is video number two. Um, I think I'm a pro now. I've done one video and right in front of you here is a big box of locks. Uh, this one comes from Pick Me. It's basically my eBay purchases over the past six months or something, whatever it's been. He's obviously been busy and had some of his own stuff to sort out and I wasn't in a hurry and I didn't know whether I was still going to keep buying or not so he just kept piling up piling up I actually didn't know how much was in there I just had no idea till he told me and I freaked out so without further ado what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up but I might have to do some uh, video editing and uh, chop out some bits uh, I think what he's done in the past is he's kept packaged labels in there so I might have to take them out because it's got his home address in there so let me just take it out I've just put this um, tape dispenser here as a bit of a measure just so you can see the size of this box it's actually huge um, it's quite large quite heavy it's not you know it's not full full but it's a big box it's uh, 44 pounds which is 20 kilos which is pretty much the the most well the biggest and hang on, let me go around this side and the most expensive package that I've seen uh, this one here comes up to a total of 264.55 US which is a phenomenal amount of money um, I, you know I I must thank pick me for that but uh, look, at the end of the day I, I said I'd be paying for it he doesn't seem to want some money for it I'm still happy to pay any time um, you know I did send a bunch of Lockwoods but you know um, this is my stuff and I did ask for it and I didn't expect him to, to uh, you know pay for it all so let me know anytime buddy and uh, you know I really appreciate it you've uh, you've really knocked it out of the ballpark with this one anyway it looks like these are actually um, packaged up in boxes and labelling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here and uh, we'll come back to it in a, in a sec. Cheers. Okay guys, we're back. Um, luckily I stopped the video there because it's taken me an hour and a half to go through the whole box. Um, they're all wrapped up in their packages. Um, a lot of them were in plastic bags, uh, lots of bubble wrap and paper. So in the end, here we are. Um, I've sort of collated them together so it won't take too long because there's a lot to go through uh, it's a mix of old and new let's just get started and and um and have a look at these babies now the first lot are a bunch of kryptonites i actually collect kryptonites i've got some more uh, i've got some more coming i like different types of kryptonites from um, well all locks but uh, all different variations so you've got tubular normal key uh, this cable one here uh, this one actually came without a um without a core but I asked the guy to put in a core because um, I wanted something from over there and he's put in a nice little falcon core uh, pretty cute little lock here with a little cable I like that one uh, old kryptonite here had a bit of use not too bad I liked it because it was a different shape and something I hadn't seen before uh, this tubular one, I've always wanted tubular ones. I've loved the Ace tubulars and also the uh, these kryptonites. Um, had to have that as well. This one here is an Ingersoll Rand one. Um, don't really know much about Ingersoll Rand and, and why it's by kryptonite, um, but uh, I had to have it for my collection, so pop that one in. Obviously, you've seen this one here. A disc lock. Um, I'll probably open it up and play with it later on, but for now it's going to stay in a package. Like I said, I do have a few more um, not coming in this package, but I just wanted to show you this one. I've got another one like this that came from um, UK. Dad sent off to me. Uh, this there's another one on the way. That's the clothes shackle. Uh, this one here came by um, from Locking Patro uh, Lock Picking Patrolman. We had a bit of a trade, and uh, this is one of the deals that. Uh, he sent over for that package and love that one also and this one came in recently that was uh, not in this package but uh, nice little kryptonite here as well anyway moving on we had that cable kryptonite um, I just wanted to show a couple of other cable locks that I had in and and I really can't remember what this one was um, what it was advertised for um, 
I really don't know if anyone can actually help me with this. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to go. I think maybe it's a, for a gun lock and or maybe some sort of machinery. I, I don't know. Um, there's nothing on the box that tells me what it is. So if someone can help me with that, that'd be great. I've got this. This one is definitely a gun lock. Um, it's only like three or four dollars or something like that. It's a you know project child safe. I don't know how safe it is. I actually want to try it out. Um, let's see. We'll find out. Um, now we've got some lockwoods, and these I believe they're American lockwoods, and I don't know what the difference is. Um, some of the, the the logos look different to to what we got here. Uh, these all came in the, in the, in that big box. Uh, we got an old one. We got a new old stock here, which is beautiful. Uh, different keyways to what we get in Australia. We have the C4 keyway, um, uh, but this is definitely different. I've seen it on on a few of these these older uh, Lockwoods from the states, um, so I'm not really familiar with those. These ones are really cool, and I really love this one. This funky design um, with this clover leaf on the back. Um, I've never seen it before and I think it's really it sort of looks like lost in space sort of <laughs> uh, writing on there that goes back into the 70s and um, this one these two seem to be identical this one looks like someone's attacked it with a wire brush so um, you know I don't really like that I'd, you know if I had a few spare I could polish them up and make them look try them brand new but then, then but I'd like to keep some with the mostly with the, the with the old patina so they're the Lockwoods that came in. I've got a few Americans here, and they're, they're new in boxes, but this one here is, um, oh, I've got some old ones as well, some US set ones, but this one here, I don't really know. It's sort of like stumped me. It says American USA by CESA, Italy. So I don't really know. It's an old well-worn key. I don't know why it says by CESA. I don't understand it. So someone who knows what they're talking about, like, I don't know, Jeff Moss. <laughs> or Steel Pinnings might be able to help out with that because I certainly don't know. The next lot are a bunch of US set ones. Uh, that's a, a new uh, old stock. I've got, oh, well, US set and, and, and government ones. Um, nothing to flash on this one, US set American, not sure what the model is, I mean I'm sure there's a date code on that but I don't know what they are, someone might be able to help out with that. Uh, I can't really read the writing on these because they're too small, cute little lock. This one here Ordinance department something you say beautiful lock oops break it another little US set cute I like these shapes. I really love these weird shackles, and um, I've got a few other ones in in my collection that are, are sort of a little bit weird. If you can read that, I can't read it. I'm blah. Well, it says USN, so USN Electric, US Navy. I don't know. Corbin, Corbin, no. Cabinet something. Corbin cabinet. I don't know. Sweet got some big ones here uh, I think that's a duplicate I've got these ones they came in one package I honestly can't I mean this whole package the whole the whole box I really can't remember what the hell I bought um, I ended up buying a few duplicates I bought some <laughs> after the same stuff I didn't know what, what the hell I bought I mean it's been so long um, series 10 um, just try and quickly go through these because it's going to take a while. 
this was obviously um, years uh, series 1100 this was actually you know from some sort of hyd hydraulic pump I guess uh, some sort of factory that they've uh, had spare off and they, they never ended up using and just wanted to get rid of the locks 1305 very nice love these American locks I never had I had a, a couple but now it's just really filled up my collection it's like I guess the guys from the states wanting to collect lock, lock woods and you know I actually want to collect American locks it's something that you know we want to connect collect uh, stuff that we don't have you know same as Europe keep saying you know Love these things. I mean, I don't think I'd be able to pick them because I've got, a lot of them got either serrated or serrated spores. So they, for me, they're going to be impossible to pick. I can, I can pick a Master Three. <laughs> That's about it. Fifty-two sixty. I think I've got a fifty-two hundred and a fifty. I don't know, fifty-three hundred maybe. Uh, I think uh, Noctis is. Oops, up the camera. Noctis has sent me something uh, along those lines, I believe. Yeah, I've actually got a couple of picks in as well. These, I've, I've got a decent Peterson pick set, and as, as well as some Sparrows gears, uh, gear as well. But these are actually those Peterson specials page where they're like, you know, I don't know, a dollar, two, maybe three max. Um, these black ones would be the carbon steel. Um, I actually just liked them because of the handles. I probably won't use them much. I, I actually had some worms, but I like this for the small keyways that. I can't get into these are for the little wafers that just I didn't have before and uh, I think that's a long reach or a swoop or something like that I'm, I'm not too sure I'm not really familiar with those and and then here we just nothing flash I've just got a uh, mini knife tool just so I wanted to try some of those combination locks that you know, I think there's a master 175 or 178 something along those lines and um, see if we can start doing some stuff like what he does because he makes it look so easy. It's an American duplicate. I've got some... Actually, I'll s show you some cylinders now. Um, I... Sorry about the camera. i got um, two Schlags here. One's, one's an Everest, which is this one. Comes in a little kit. Um, the guy's actually put Everest on it. I don't know if he's made it for whatever reason, but um, it comes with that little shotgun, which is great. I never had one before. I think I've picked one, in, uh, found one in a padlock uh, that happened to be a, a Schlage Primus or Everest, or I can't remember. And um, this one I bought it specifically for that because I had nothing at the time. I mean, I don't know. I think this box must go back probably even a year ago. Um, now, this one here is a Primus. Sweet thing. Um, sort of looks like the, I don't mean, to me it's sort of like the Lockwood twin or the Acid twins. Uh, the Lockwood twins only got three sidebar pins I think. This one only comes with one operating key. I believe this is to release it and um, and um, I don't have a control key so that's something that I may want to get later on if I want to put that in the course. I might end up sending that back over to someone if they can do that for me. Um, next ones we got some I'll leave the old ones for now I'll just go through some of these cylinders that I've got the newer ones nice looking ones and some that I uh, just don't know what they are uh, Amiga by Medico I think it's just normal Medico. I don't know what Amiga is. I think it's a, a lower security one. I'm not too sure, but it's cool for my collection. It's like this one's actually a key switch. Um, so I think it. I don't think it was actually that dear, but love that key bow and uh, great for my collection. This one here is a is another Medico that I I, I picked up a little cam lock, and I, I don't know if this is an M3 or a buy something. I don't know. Uh, you guys know what you're talking over there. I don't know. Steel pinnings has probably got the most medicos out there. Well, one of the most. I think there's other collectors, but uh, but uh, I know he's got a crap ton of those anyway. 
Now these ones here, are, uh, some of them are plain and ordinary like those, but I've seen someone, I picked this up because I've seen, I don't know if it was Bosnian Bill or someone had, had it on their channel, but uh, I liked it because I didn't have a slider. We've got two Asa twins here. Beautiful locks. Um, actually says twin on it there. I don't know if the twins, are, I think there's a 5800 and a 6000. I don't know, but um, beautiful oval, six pinners. Love those. They're the keys, I think. Haven't tried them yet. This one's just a tubular lock, nothing flash. I don't know. Chateau, yeah. I think that's just a cheap brand. I just want to try my, I uh, bought a, um, a Huck. Is it a Huck? Not sure, no, I don't think it's a Huck. Those um, tubular lock picking kits from Banggood. And I don't know why I bought this. I don't know what it is. I really don't know. <laughs> but I'll give it a crack. All right, now onto the older ones. I've got a bunch of older ones here that we'll just go through. Um, there's, there's, I don't want to go through it too long because there's, there's actually quite a lot here. Um, I've got this Chevrolet one. I think this is actually a reproduction, but I used to have a Holden Monaro, which is made by GMH. Um, and I just thought I'd put it in with my little car collection. I'll have a car and lock collection, so that's pretty cool. And I've got Andy Max actually lever pick set, so I might actually give that a crack. Uh, I've got a couple of lever locks now that I could probably try and, and actually have a, have a go at it. I know Andy was keen on uh, getting more guys on to lever lock, so I want to give that a shot. Uh, nice little old American here. Don't know, doesn't actually say. I think it's a junk hunk. Oh, it's a double double wafer. Sweet. Hercules. Haven't really heard of it. Some of these came like in a lot, so I was I was after one and I and I got something else. Uh, I like this because of the because of the logo. I think that's actually really cool. Got two of these. Um, I've actually wanted a key. I might have a go at impressioning one day. I don't know. I think Noctis is probably better off sending it to him to make him. Um, I think I was trying to get one with a key that was brass, but I think it was bigger, but I missed out because I was just too late with the bidding and forgot about it. But um, beautiful. I like these designs. I've actually got something with a ring design as well, an Indian lock that um, I'll show at some stage as well. Little Norfolk cylinder, nothing flash with that. Um, I've got a few more that came on, on a different lot. Double A, I don't know what that is. Uh, it looks like it's, it's it's got a new key that was made on it. Um, Sherlock, again, I don't know what that is. We've got an old master here. Um, actually say I think they actually got what numbers like I don't know 155 or whatnot I've got uh, these triple nines I really love them I mean I've seen them go up for like 50 bucks US I got these for quite cheap I think like 12 bucks or something I've got another one that I actually bought from Australia uh, where is it here it is here this is actually uh, looks like it's newer both don't have keys not really sure what's in those keyways Oh, actually, uh, while I was showing you those lock lids, I just wanted to go back. We've got, this one didn't come from that lot. I actually bought this from Australia. It cost me 50 bucks plus postage, or 50 or 55. Uh, it was such something they wanted to have because it was American lock. I believe it's American lock. Uh, it's got the American sort of keyway that I was talking about before. And uh, it's actually a seven pinner. And uh, this one was, was a must, so that can go with my other American lock lids. Um, this one here, Atco, nothing too fancy about that one. Slaymaker, I mean, these are dime a dozen, I think, in the States. I mean, a lot of these older locks are, you know, if you don't really like um, older locks, then, you know, 
what, what do you do about that? But, you know, particularly over here, we don't actually get a lot of old locks. So I'm trying to get some, and especially old Lockwoods, and they're just so hard to find. They're just so expensive. Um, I do like old and new. I like everything, obviously, and uh, different styles and something that we... Even if they're normal, they don't even have to be fancy. Uh, as long as they're something that I don't have and they look cool. This this probably should go with the other one. I think it's another one of those ordnance you know, US sort of government issue locks. Some sort of military one there. WB, I've, I've got a newer WB. I don't know. I probably want to get a few more um, WBs. This beautiful Pluto lock. Again, it goes probably goes back to the 60s or probably the 60s, this one. Um, just love it. Just love the design of that one. So pretty. This one here, I don't know. I've seen a few, and there's some that this is actually quite solid. I've seen some that look quite tinny. Um, the rings don't do anything until you, sorry, turn them around or put some tension on, on there and, and actually get some get some feedback on that. I've got a nice old alloy. It doesn't actually come with a key. It's got that classic sort of core on it. I think the I don't know, 3220s, I'm not sure. I want to get a new one, but they're actually quite dear. They're like 30 to $50 or something. I think closer to 50 for some of the old ones. Um, and it's just... can't afford it, but I'll get some at some stage. And while we're going on the older ones, I've got a few over here. I'll just get rid of these. Got these little beauties now. Oops. Now these ones here, they're all from different sellers. Uh, one's got a key. I just love these long shackles, these ratcheting sort of style locks. Uh, you can actually push them up while, while it's actually locked. Uh, this that's a Yale Corbin. This one's actually, I like it because it was actually unusual. Uh, what's, how it sticks out like that, that was pretty cool. And this was a Miller. I know Miller makes some other locks. So I think it was lock, lock picking Lebowski. Shows a, a ton of Millers. I think they do combo locks as well. But again, I, I really love a key with this. Looks like it's a double wafer. And um, such a, a, a pretty lock. Moving on, I've got another... Well, I think this, I don't know if it's US, I don't think it's US government, but it's sort of the same same sort of US military issue. But I like this one because, is it this one? Yeah. I love these shackles. I love the I love the, um, the curved shackles like that and how they come out. This one doesn't actually come out all the way, but I've seen other ones that, that, that do come out all the way. And uh, that's just a, a pretty, one of those pretty ones. Not a bad bidding. All right, getting on to master locks now. Why would I get a master lock? Because they're pretty. <laughs> uh, this one's new in the box. I'll leave it like that. This one, just love it. Sort of looks like candy apple red color. Um, beautiful little thing. I'm not sure. I think they're still sold in the states. Uh, I don't know how old they go. Uh, put some tension on. Actually, get some feedback. I have no idea. Something. Body would be able to get in, in, in those, but they're pretty. Um, and I've got a cutaway lock, and this is a combo. It's set on triple zero, uh, quadruple zero. Um, I've never actually had. I've got. I just got one in the other day off a, a, an oval cutaway uh, from Australia, but not not actually one of these combo ones. And I want to. I want to get uh, some more cutaways. I just like them. Uh, I like how the how they work and and um, like seeing the internals and and whatnot. So I'll probably be getting a few more of those. Oh, I forgot this one here. This one's new old stock. Going back to the old ones. Looks like another double wafer. I think Steel Pennings has got some of these that he's giving away. I don't know if it's the exact same one, um, but. I don't know. I was actually lucky to find. I don't think they come up that often. I only wanted one. I don't need a lot. Um, but that's just a beautiful one for the collection again. Now I've got 
two I've got a few more locks not too many left I've got one big ass one that's a, that's a that's a monster um, I did want it actually I've got a couple more smaller locks um, I'll show these first actually, I don't think I've actually opened this one this is a 90 RK50 RK means it's uh, rekeyable I think they actually make a, a 90 50 that's not very cable. I think that was their older model. And um, this is it here. Beautiful, stunning thing. It's sort of reminds me of the Lockwood closed shackle padlocks. Very nice. Yeah, same same as the Lockwoods too. How it um, doesn't have any spring tension on that. Came with a business card as well. I've got a multi-lock junior. I think I've got another one. Um, I can't do dimples yet. I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't even tried them. I've got one of those cheapo Dongshi kits that I have to file up. But um, I thought once I do that, then I can get started on this and try dimples. Avis discus. I don't actually know if these come come here. I don't actually think these are available in Australia in 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 dimples, and that's the reason why I wanted this one uh, because it was a, a dimple lock, and it's just again something I want to try picking. It's it's also for the collection, and um, it's pretty crazy. Like in Europe, you get so many keys, and I've noticed on on Germany Germany's um or de eBay that you get. An option with how many keys you know up to 10 or even more you know how yeah there's a little drop down box when you buy it and, and this is something that we don't see it's just i think they actually should do that here uh we just don't see that option we you know if we buy a lockwood here or whatever you know yes it is what it is and you have to go to a locksmith and, and get some cut now this we're nearly there this one here is um is from freighton and and i think i might have another freighton lock and and steel pinnings actually showed this this one or one very similar to it where it's got these weird keys and it's a round key it's got biddings there uh, that's the keyway so you can see that you can see the first pin now I think I think the only way for, for him to tension it was to tension that first pin so that'd be a, a fun tricky bit and uh, I just loved it just because of the design it was beautiful lock and, and these keys are amazing I've got some other unique sort of locks that have weird keys and I'd like to show them off the next lot just before we open up a couple of giveaways that I won just wanted to show you these uh, these are from Bill Bacardi they're little Wayne locks I think he got off from Keith Dean if I remember correctly on a video he got a bucket load off um, off old locks from Keith Dean and everyone's had first dibs on them and you know putting their hands up and, and I asked for a way and I think she just wanted one but he sent me two uh, so that's from Bill Bacardi and the reason why he sent it because I had I remember I, I bought a Wayne and I've just got it in and I love this thing just the way it opens and and I've got this other one here that um, isn't a Wayne it's just a wise lock but I just wanted to just use it as a reference just to show that it's a, a different key and a a different design lock that opens up that way this one's got the key on the side it's one of those um, circular ring pins but both beautiful locks I think I've actually got one of these from before I think that I wanted to get one with a newer condition this one is probably a little bit better than the other one I had so yeah thanks very much Bill Bacardi for that uh, I love um, I'd never heard of Wayne, so I think these are actually the same. Wayne and Wayne, it says Wayne, so I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know. But uh, another beautiful set of locks for the for the collection there. Now, coming on to two, two packages. Um, these aren't from the packages, I just wanted to show you in a sec. Uh, the first package is from Lockpicking Paul. He had a trivia package, uh, trivia giveaway ages ago um can't remember how long it is and I, I just want to keep the package for sentimental reasons and um same as him i guess how he i sent him that stuff and and he wanted to keep it as well he sent me a little thank you note which was lovely he's given me a combo 
uh, combo there as well, combo code for, for this beautiful Dudley. Now, this is, I just wanted to keep these other two that I, I came with the package. Uh, I just want to compare them and, and you know, I, I know they're not too expensive over there, but I just really love that we don't, we don't get see these down, down in Australia. So I wanted to show those and uh, I just wanted to see that this is this, this actually says Ottawa, but the exact same model. I don't know why, but they've changed the, the dial on that. And this is a different dial again. These guys are 55 or whatever it is for. 40, 35, 40. This goes up to, must be 55, 59, 60. Um, oops, pop the camera again. He sent me a little lock. S security zone. I think it's something, something from a hardware store, but it's something that I'll be able to pick into, which is good. So he actually had a little comp. It was a live streaming. I've never had a, you know, seen a lock picking channel that had a live stream before and that that, that was freaking awesome by Paul to do that uh, it was early on his piece in the piece when he started uh, doing videos and uh, and you know it, there's a few of us in there and we, we were just going at it I had to actually leave I probably would have learned a lot <laughs> no not that good um, but he's actually sent this and I, I don't know if he's mentioned it but I can't remember why that looks like it's come from a master laminated lock or something along those lines. And I've got these keys here. Near, so if you're missing keys, Paul, uh, <laughs> I'll send them back to you, buddy. Not a problem. But uh, thank you very much for that. I, I love those locks. The next package that I I uh, won was from Frosty uh, 901. So these go back a fair way. Um, I can't remember. I think, it was, I think it was video 61. I'm not too sure. Uh, we've got a beautiful little, what is it, 1100 padlock in there. That, that's pretty 64 Ti 50. Again, something that I could probably have a go at. I think these have some, I don't know if these have security pins in them. I hope not. <laughs> I can't be that cool. It's got this beautiful um, cutaway. I think these are Chinese cutaway for training, and that's something that. I'll probably have to start before I do even try that multi-lock junior. Um, I really want to try those picks in, in, in here and see if they fit. I think those Dong Shi ones are a bit fat, so I'm going to have to do a fair bit of work to get them on there. But thanks, buddy, for this. Thanks, Frosty. And also, it's coming with this King, Queen, Rook and Knight, I think it is. Um, sorry. These... Speed picks, I think they are for competition, so I'll definitely be giving those a shot. Um, for me, they're, they're good, I like those uh, because I, I can't make too much. Almost there, we've got one, one package left. One package left. Uh, the last one is the biggest lock that I've got, and that's it. <laughs> It's an Isaiah. It is a. Let me see if I can pull this out a bit. It is a beast. Now, let me try and get rid of that so I can actually see this thing. Double sided. Comes with a ring for the other side. These are the keys. Uh, I think I've seen. I think it must have been lock picking lawyer that's picked one of these Isaiahs and I since then I wanted to get it so I jumped online and, and found one. Um, Italy? I don't know. Look at that. Uh, I remember I went to went to Greece in 2012 and I they had a similar lock to this. Um, I think it was actually a lever lock that they had. They had it was in a bad sort of area. There was a lot of crime. So these things are just amazing. I mean I don't see these things here. It's, should put that on the front door. <laughs> I've got my buy locks, but obviously that's for the for the drill frame itself. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying so long. Uh, it's been well, it says here 32 minutes plus by the time I edit, and I've got the starting bit and whatnot. Thanks for sticking by. Um, appreciate the packages from um, Locking Paul, Frosty 901. Um, 
Thank you so much to Pick Me 1977 for sending me this huge box. Appreciate it, buddy. Um, anytime you need something, just let me know and uh, and I'll help you out. And um, and, a, and a big thanks to uh, uh, we got Squint in Texas. We got uh, we I got uh, Daz Evers who's kind enough to do all my UK stuff. I've got four packages so far from from Daz and um and uh i've got chris also the one in germany who looks after i, I think he's just actually sent me uh my first box of ebay purchases he's actually sent me a um a huge package before when he first started um when he when he first started um he wanted to do a trade with me and he wanted some padlocks and that's why i sent him a huge bunch of um, padlocks Australian locks because he sent me a huge box and it, it actually was huge and I had some fantastic locks in there and I will be actually doing some more videos of um, of package openings I've got them set aside I actually haven't pulled them apart completely I've I've got one from Chris the one I've got another one from uh, potty 314 uh, he sent me those um, a nice bunch of locks because uh including a Pfaffenheim core that I've put in a eighty six TI fifty five and I sent him um a combination lock, a Lockwood combination lock and a um and a hot dog lock. And uh he sent me a whole bunch back, uh which I truly appreciate it and I want to do a package opening of that as well. Uh, I've got a package from uh, a couple of Australian guys as well that I might open a show on video, one or two of those. And um, that's probably about it for now. It's been long enough. Thanks for sticking by, guys. Uh, I know it's a long video, but this was a huge box. It's the biggest box that I've, I've ever seen uh, package. I didn't think it was that big. And I um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've got some more to come. I've got some more that are, more videos that I want to show in my collection. And um, see how we go from there. Thanks again. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.